Hey, Tribe family, welcome to Tribe Daily. Thanks for spending a couple minutes with us. Turn in your Bibles and take out your Bibles. Matthew chapter 11, I know I heard you scream. I heard you yell. Um, Matthew chapter 11 and 12, here's the thing. We read of Jesus' teaching in Scripture, but you need to understand this. The Son of God put on flesh. His name was Jesus. He, the Son of God, God, is the writer of all Scripture. So when Jesus teaches about the law and the prophets and the word of God, he is teaching what he has taught, what he has given, which is why a lot of people you'll see when they were amazed, it wasn't, they weren't just amazed at his work, they were amazed at his teachings because it was like he didn't need other people or other experts to, to, to influence how he thought about the word because he is the word. And so when Jesus, God the Son, in flesh, is teaching he's teaching what he has given us and so people were like never heard this before all right so look at what he re what he teaches uh the people and actually teaches some of the teachers of the law about some of the commandments the sabbath for instance now here's the king you, you realize that jesus is teaching in chapter 11 uh that he came to give us rest basically he came to basically says uh you need to chill out uh, and why, why do you need to chill out? Because you've been working or you're working so hard to get to me. But what you don't realize is I have come for you. So when you receive the free gift of salvation, when you receive Jesus' uh, what he did on the cross and the gift of salvation, you realize that all of your working to try to get to God was in vain. That Jesus accomplished the work for us so that we can find rest from our labor and actually live. So look at Matthew chapter 12. A couple illustrations of this is when the Pharisees kind of got on Jesus for what they thought was him breaking the law. I mean, basically, the, the Son of God in flesh was walking among them and accomplishing what the Word, what the Old Testament law and prophets were proclaiming about the Son of God, the Messiah, and they missed it. And so what they were trying to do is they were trying to trip him up and trick him and trying to reveal that he was a lawbreaker. And look what he said. And at that time, Jesus went through, the, went through the grain fields. And his disciples were hungry, and they began to pluck the grains of wheat to eat, because they were hungry, all right? Because they were hungry. And so look what happens. But when the Pharisees, there they are, some of them. Now, here's the thing. Let me, let me, let, let me let you know a little secret. Not all the Pharisees were ridiculous stupid heads like these guys all because some of the pharisees genuinely loved the word of god and probably a lot of pharisees and it, i think the bible teaches about this some of them believed jesus some of them followed jesus some of them uh re they realized that he was who the old testament promised the messiah would be so some of the pharisees and they, they got it but some of these guys did not. And they saw it and they said to him, look, your disciples are doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath. Basically, na 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 boo boo, will you tell them to stop breaking the law? And so it's interesting. And Jesus said to them, have you not read what David did when he was hungry? And of course, he said this because of course they've read it. All right. On those who were with him how they entered the house of God and ate the bread of the presence in the tabernacle, basically, which was, by the way, was not lawful for him to eat, nor for those who were with him to eat, but only for the priest. Or have you not read in the law how the Sabbath, how on the Sabbath, the priest in the temple profane the Sabbath and are guiltless? Interesting. And he says this, I tell you something greater than the temple is here. And if you had known what this means, and here's what he said, what this is, this is what he's going to say. This is the this. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. If you understood that phrase, you would not have condemned the guiltless. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. In other words, if Jesus' followers are walking through the grain field on the Sabbath and they're plucking the heads of wheat and Jesus is eating, then basically he's telling the Pharisees, everything you thought that rule and that guideline was all about is you've missed it. 
Because what Jesus is saying is, he is the Sabbath rest that the law pointed to. And when you have the Sabbath rest, you are free to live in that rest. Now, what's that rest? Basically, the work of trying to accomplish salvation on your own, okay, is fruitless and pointless. And when you realize that Jesus accomplished that on your behalf, you are free to worship him, free to love, free to forgive, and free to give mercy. All right, let me pray for us. Father, thank you so much for today. I pray that as we continue to read in Matthew, that we would hear your very word and realize that you are the word that our heart and our mind and our very essence has longed for. Help us to follow you, God, today in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, amen. Love you guys. I will see you tomorrow at midweek. Can't wait for it.